Honestly, I'm kind of surprised how quickly we're clearing through these 100 coin stars. I honestly thought that we'd be, be able to get through like one per video and maybe if we were lucky we'd get two, but no, these are actually going by pretty quickly because we've been, man been managing to knock them out so quickly. Hey everybody, it's the MechMaster14. Welcome back to more Super Mario 64. In the last episode, we completed more of the 100 coin stars in Hazy Maze Cave and Dire Dire Docks. And we could have done more, but I was just really tired at that point because I had to get all of the 89 coins in Hazy Maze Cave before. But enough about that, we're going to be heading up to the second floor of the castle now. And we're going to get the 100 coin stars in... Snowman's Land, Wet Dry World, and if there's time, uh, Tall Tall Mountain. So let's get playing and start with Snowman's Land. Also, I just ate, so that's why I sounded a bit weird there. I was, like, trying to swallow something. Uh, here's the open cannon that I don't think we showed last time we were here. Yeah, I know that one's fake. Those things are up five coins, so you gotta get them. Although, why do they have to go so far away? Like, seriously, you're practically never going to get all of those. These twirly guys, just like before, you don't want to... You don't want to jump off them because then you'll just fly up into the air and you probably won't get all the coins. Oh, come on. Come on! Those Mr. Snowman guys. They all drop three coins. Okay, that that fly guy just clipped through the mountain. Alright, come on, let me punch you. I mean bouncing is fine too. Also, I guess they only dropped two coins. Those, uh, fly guy guys. Not <laughs> fly guy guys. No, it's not. And apparently those flower guys are so weak that just sliding into them is enough to kill. That or Mario s has some super powerful feet. Kill the snowman guy again. Like, I feel like I just broke into the snowman people's homes and, and I'm killing them now. I don't think they actually give more money if you if you kill them again. And truth be told, I don't know exactly how many coins there are on the outside of Snowman's Land. Because you remember when we went, when we went to the igloo, there were actually a ton of coins in there. Don't you get away? Alright, there we go. This time the coins didn't go as far. Alright, that was still better than last time. Also, those snowman guys must have a really sad life. Like, they just fall over and they die. Which also raises the question, how are they still alive whenever they seep into the ground? Like, when they seep into the ground, they become one with the snow, right? Eh, whatever. I'm overthinking things in a Mario game. No, I didn't mean to... Alright, we're gonna have to take a swim in the ice water to get... One coin, really. And we're gonna have to get the shell now. I don't think we're gonna get any of the coins that they drop. I don't... You don't wanna hit that box, because that has the star in it. Now, guess we're not getting all the red coins. Alright, kill another snowman. Alright, so we're not gonna get two of the red coins, but at least we're, we're still doing good. And I hope we can still make it up to the egg oil. Because truth be told, I'm kind of worried that we, that we needed the shell to get up there. Or we can just silly kick up. 
Seriously, that is an that is an overpowered as hell exploit. Just silly kicking up. All right, we're almost at the nice amount of coins. Now we just passed it. How did it go? How did it go up there? Guess we're guess we're not getting that Goomba coin. And that right there is what I was talking about. There's definitely like 20 coins in that area right there. So, where's the vanish cap? I I used to always be good at, at mazes of of like transparent services and carnivals. Where are you? I was like I was probably just like punching the air and I didn't even know where I was right there. Why? Eh, whatever. I was gonna ask why diving at that box didn't break it, but whatever. And there we go. That's a hundred coin star in uh, Snowman's Land. Here we go. And just for simplicity's sake, I was gonna say let's actually get that star, but whatever. I mean, we could also just do exit course, but then we have to walk up the stairs to get to the wet dry world again. Alright, for wet dry world, I think we want to start at the bottom this time. Uh, again, I don't really think it matters which one we select first. We have some Skeeters here that each drop three coins, so very helpful. Blue coin switch gives us actually like six, so pretty good. And I believe the Secrets in the Shallows and Skies mission, that does lead to some some coin block. Yeah, like this one had like t like 10 or 20. That one had none. Deep skate. Pretty sure these boxes over here have at least a few coins. Here we go. That was pretty good. We got six coins from those two. Are these two? All right, pretty good. We got 12 coins in total from those things. What about this one? Nope. Cheapskate. I don't want to keep saying cheapskate again because those guys... I mean, they probably need at least some money. I mean, they, they can't just constantly be getting all, all the way to Mario. All right, come on, Heepo. That's not what you're supposed to do. There we go. Oh, no, don't throw me off! What kind of, What is this? Nope, you're not flinging me again. Seriously, what the hell was that? I can't even jump up there, so we have to use the heave hose. Seriously, they like comboed me. Don't you dare throw me again. Let me get some coins first. There we go. Seriously, what the heck was that? They fucking comboed me. Alright, more coins. We're at 69 coins now. I'm not gonna make the... I mean, I guess I have to say nice to actually make the nice joke. But what? How do I... I swear I did this so easily once. There we go. Now the Chuckyas... Have we ever actually killed a Chuckya? Now come on, get out. Now let me kill you. Because just like your big babam brother, you die after I throw you a couple times. Or I guess in this case, just once. 
Also, why am I why am I doing this when I can just split the uh, crystal tap? Or I don't even think there are coins up there, so you should just hit this thing. Yes, more coins. And if we get the right coins in the uh, city right now, we'll actually easily get enough. Or at least enough for the star. But I'm not so sure we're going to need that because we're actually doing quite well right now. Although I think we will need it because... Ooh, more coins! Okay, now we're down to just six coins needed. I think if we go down a bit lower, we can get the coins right in that box. Wait, are there coins in that uh, yellow box right up there? Or is this a one-off? There we go! Got the 100 coin star here! Here we go! Alright, let's definitely save now. We're only like, we're like less than 10 minutes into this video, so yeah, we can easily get the, uh, a Tall Tall Mountain 100 coin star. I keep losing track of my words. Also, can you tell I really like that glitch? And also, the, t the 100 coin star in Tall Tall Mountain is actually pretty easy to get. At least if you exploit the... Uh, whatever. Let's go to, let's go to Mysterious Mountain's side because... Okay, no, it's not here. I remember in the DS version there was a tree ad with an owl that would take you to the top of the mountain in the later missions. But I don't think that tree was in the original N64 version. Also, give me the coin that's inside your body, Goomba. It's not a re it's not a really weird. Oh, come back to me, coins. Got it. You really gotta control that tox box and make sure you don't go flying off the edge, or at least not, you know, fly and lose all the coins. Yeah, I know how to speak properly. Pretty sure that box is just a one-up, so we don't need to worry about that. I almost died there. Okay, I was, I was like signing on the smallest little slant. Also, why can we not climb up these vines? Like, I know it's supposed to be, like, moss or something, but still, it definitely looks like we should be able to climb those. Alright, the last red coin is, like, right up... <laughs> Mario's a... Mario's a beast, he actually managed to, like, grab a ledge that was behind his head. I know there's coins under here. I miss the days of the N64 where we could actually just clip through and just grab these coins while standing on top. Alright, there's still more coins to get down here. We still have like Bob Bombs and a Chucky yeah, ahead, so. Alright. Third of you. Man, what is the, what was what is with the angles that the that these coins launch at? Cause sometimes they go like they like barely go anywhere, and other times like here, these two coins went like super far away. Also, what is it with all those narrow narrow pathways, Nero? Anyways, I don't really think it matters if we miss a few of the coins in the mountain area because it's actually really easy to get the star view well if you know what you're doing 
Also, that was kind of a risky long jump because I had very little room to build up speed. The reason the 100 coin star is so easy to get in this in this world, or at least in the N64 version, is because of the slide. You guys remember the slide, right? The thing that I very easily beat even though you were probably tricked by its alternate pathway. Yeah, that thing. Hey, we're officially halfway, but if we use the exploit properly, we're a little more than halfway. There's still more coins we can get over here before we go into the slide area. Also, if they were gonna make this moss area have the same effect as quicksand or, like, sinky sand, why not just use sinky sand? Also, that box right there was only added so we could get those coins. So we're at 63 and we're almost at the top of the mound. So, we obviously need to go into the slide to get the last red coins. Or, last red coins. Just get the last coins. There are a ton of coins on the slide. And I'm pretty sure there's actually less than 100 coins on the actual mountain itself. So you need to use the slide to do this. Missed one of the blue coins, but we can still... Alright, 100 coin stars right there. And we died. That's alright, that's fine. Normally I would probably be very unhappy that we just lost that 100 coin star, but it's, it's fine. Even though we're starting at zero, it's actually very easy to get the 100 coins again. Because, like I said, there's plenty of coins in the slide. See, we're already at 30. You actually really don't want to get 100 coins on this slide. Even if it looks like you can, you actually want to miss it by just a little bit. And the reason is what happens at the end of the slide. I don't think there are any coins in this area, so let's hop through here. Now, normally we get dumped out right here, but if we make a jump for it, we come out right here, and all the other coins have actually respawned. So now all these Goombas and the Tox Box and everything else, those are all back. And you actually, you can actually only use that trick in the N64 version, because in the DS version, that area that we got off, we got out on the slide on, that's actually gated up. Like you can't use this trick in the in the DS version because, like I said, the exit to the slide is gated up now. You can't actually like once you go on the slide, you can't actually access the other areas of Tall Tall Mountain again. You know, there are better spots to get coins than these red ones. Especially since I'll probably die trying to get a few of them. But like this one, yeah, we should be fine getting that one. So paranoid of actually screwing up because it takes kind of a long time to get back to the top of the mountain. Oh. Why is this place so compact? Alright, we're almost done, and I think this vine area is so low that the Monty Moles on the other side can't even hit us. Like, if you look at their rocks, they're just like hitting the top. Billy, really? what the heck was that? Come back here, you stupid bob -ombs. You're not getting away from me this time. Alright, I believe the last five coins are, on, are in this chuck yet and on the bridge. 
Also, we couldn't get like an explosion to see off the Chucky's death. Yeah, that's a little brutal. But still, I, I kind of wanted to see the Chucky out explode, especially since it looks like a bob bomb. And there we go. I actually didn't slip that time. And it's actually recommended, like I said, that you don't get 100 coins on the slide because then there's a high chance that you'll just slip off and just not even get the 100 coin star even after getting 100 coins, like what happened to me. So yeah, that's why you should get the 100 coin star on the outside. But like I said, that's impossible for the DS version, so uh, good thing we're playing the N64 version. Anyway, guys, this is all the time we're going after this episode. Next time on Super Mario 64... We're probably going to be getting the remaining 100 coin stars, or at least getting pretty close to the remaining 100 coin stars. And then after that, we're going to be fighting the final Bowser. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I didn't know we could get up here. And if you did, like, comment, and subscribe, as that really help out the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. McMaster, out. And man, I was really hoping to bonk my head to see off the video.